Hello everyone, here is another video in my story snippets series. Um, in my last video I talked about how I went to London and studied to study physiotherapy at the North London School of Physiotherapy which was a school which was meant for blind people and how I found out there that I had spatial awareness problems and so I was told to come back and study something more academic. So I was fortunate to have relatives in England, in Devon, in the southwest. And so before I went back to Australia, I packed up all my stuff and traveled down to my aunt's place to stay with her for a little while because mum came over and to help me bring everything back um, to Australia. And I had to wait for her to, to get a, you know, available flights and, and come over. So I was sitting in my aunt's lounge room one evening, it was very late, and we were having a chat, as we often did, late at night, after my uncle had gone to bed, and I was crying and saying, oh, I just wanted to be a physio, you know, what can I do now, and that's been taken away from me, and my aunt said, you've got a good brain, why don't you study law? And I went, why, what do, what, what, what do lawyers do? Because the only experience of lawyers I'd ever had was when my grandfather died when I was eight, and I remember we had gone to see a solicitor and I was told that I had to sit on my mother's knee and be very quiet while my, or sit, not on my mother's knee, but um, sit next to her and be very quiet. Um, and while the solicitor read my grandfather's will. So, you know, that's the only experience I've ever had of lawyers. Um, so my aunt said, oh, you know, they do lots of things and blah, blah, blah. So I'd already enrolled in commerce, as I'd said in my um, couple of videos ago or from my previous video. So I rang my parents and said, oh, look, you know, can you transfer me into law? And they contacted the university and the university said, no, 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 you don't have a high enough marks to get into law, but you can get into commerce and you know, possibly transfer from there. So I did. So I went, came back to Australia and I started studying commerce and it was okay. It had something to do with numbers. It was sort of slightly mathematical. I, I enjoyed it. I've got to say though, I did feel a little bit lost in my first tutorial when I was sitting there and uh, someone, the tutor said, why is everyone studying accounting? And, you know, all these people are going, oh, I want to work for KPMG or I want to work for Pricewaterhouse or I want to work for such and such or I want to, you know, help my father run his business or I want to do this and that. And they came to me and I went, oh, I don't know, had something to do with numbers, you know. <laughs> so I, I kind of started to realize then that, mm, you know, why am I studying commerce? But anyway, um, a few little interesting things about studying commerce. Um I had to do everything in Braille because everything was numerically based and there were graphs and there were tables and stuff. So, um, and back then, um, the, the speech access to spreadsheets and things like that wasn't particularly good. Um, so my dad, who was retired at that stage and, and, uh, became my, um, main sort of helper when it went to uni um he used to get the handouts in advance and he would get them put into braille for me and because braille is so much bigger than print um you've only got 30 cells to a braille 30 letters wide to a standard braille page and 25 lines so you, you can't fit that much on a page um they had to do these tables uh, you know, um, balance sheets and profit and loss statements and stuff in would would cover more than one page in width. So what they had to do is stick the pages together like a like a fold out like a fold out brochure. Um, so and some of these pages, some of these tables, we would do with three pages wide. And so when I'd be reading these tables, I'd spread them out on the floor and I'd get down on the floor and I'd, I'd crawl around reading these big tables, you know, with a ruler and everything. It was quite extraordinary. Um, so because of that, um, and because I did all, I had to do all my answers in Braille as well on a Perkins Braille, going ka-jing, 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 you know, as you, you know, it was a noisy thing. I had my own exam room 
um, and my own uh, exam supervisor and had extra time so I could crawl around on the floor and read these big tables and then construct tables with my answers. So it was, was quite quite an interesting um, interesting um, process getting all that stuff put into Braille. Also, of course, then going on to do economics as well as part of com as as part of the commerce degree, that was all graphs. So we found this stuff called slip tape, which was like super narrow um, masking tape. Um, I don't know what it was meant for, but it was great for sticking on on pages and 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 creating lines, raised lines. So they used to do the uh, braille transcribers would do all the graphs for me using this slit tape and sometimes a, a, a pinwheel when you put the paper on a, on a mat and um, do the draw the 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 diagram in reverse and then you turn it over and it would be raised dots so that was that was quite a process too so I'll tell you a little bit more about commerce and then um, how I transferred from commerce into law in the next video